During my childhood and youth, I gradually came to the conclusion that I had special abilities, which, radiating out from me, tended to have a calming or healing influence on people and animals. In the time that follows, more and more people wonder about Gröning's origins. In various biographical statements, he writes, I was born in Gdansk, Oliver, on May 30th, 1906, to August and Margareta Gröning as the fourth child of seven siblings. During my childhood and youth, I gradually came to the conclusion that I had special abilities, which, radiating out from me, tended to have a calming or healing influence on people and animals. My relationship with the family was strange and tense. However, my imprisonment in the family house didn't last long because I early and very often freed myself from it. The woods and my friends, the animals, were so strong that they kept pulling me toward them. There I experienced God in every shrub, in every tree, in every animal, even in the rocks. After a short time there, I'd feel secure, for there I wasn't so alone. I also came to the conclusion as a child that animals usually considered shy or vicious were good-natured and tame when with me. I spoke with all animals. In short, we got along very well together. Wherever I was, I could stop and contemplate, and it always seemed to me as if my entire inner life broadened into an eternity. In the family home, there was very little understanding towards little Bruno. He was often beaten and dismissed as crazy. Bruno is my cousin. My parents said that as a small boy, he was already a strange sort, as they say. He went walking in the woods a lot, and one day he started collecting bread. His parents wondered why and he said that he had to collect and dry out the bread to bury in the woods because he believed, or that's what he said, that a war was coming and that they'd need something to eat. His parents were surprised by that, but didn't think much about it because he was a little different from his siblings anyway. In an affidavit in the year 1949, August Gröning said of his son Bruno, he was even able to predict certain events, such as the beginning and end of the First World War. He also predicted the death of his mother, as well as the beginning of the Second World War in 1939. He saw and predicted it all. He also had a characteristic that enabled him to heal people from illness and relieve suffering. Und das ist sehr interessant für uns auch gewesen. And it was also very interesting for us to hear about such things about when he was a little boy. His mother even took him along to hospitals because the patients asked, bring little Bruno along. When he comes to us and sits here and talks to us, such a profound calm comes over us and we feel much better. Mother, 
Can you still hear me? Grandma, you won't die. You're healthy. Bruno Groening continues in his biographical writings. Even when I was a small child, people were freed from their illnesses in my presence. So I was continuously attracted directly to sick people. 